Well, ladies and gents, welcome back to another BAW YouTube episode. As I mentioned at the end of the last video, we did the exterior of Tom's car. We're now going to talk about everything inside. We're going to run you through all the stuff. We'll also even show you the big system sound system that he has because it's pretty cool. So tag along, watch the rest of the video. We'll run through everything we possibly can and go from there. So welcome to the interior. As you can see, it's definitely not standard 70 series spec. Uh, we did work with our friends at ProSeat. Max and Dan and the boys over there did a full interior system. So we've got their HSV GDS style seat in the front, full recover on the rear seat in the same. So I've actually got the same type of pattern in mind, which is really cool. Did it in the sandy and then the doors as well. So that's full door cards, every single door, front seats, rear seat recover. So the rear seat's not fully new, but it's wrapped in the same leather as your front ones as well. As you can see in, in the centre, we do have the Department of the Interior Centre Console, which is just a staple, if you ask me, in any 70 series, you need one of these. This armrest is the best thing since sliced bread. So, and it's got a massive storage pocket in there as well. Quickly in the front of that though, we do have a dual USB for charging, phones, whatever. And we do have a pass through, RJ45 pass through for his XRS Connect. And also in the console as well, we've got our airbag man gauge for the airbags as we were talking about before. You got your simple up down controls for that. And then down here, we've got our compressor and our air hub switch as well. And then we've got our other compressor switch, so that way you can obviously up and down the airbags from the cab. And then you can keep an eye on your PSI, what's in your bags, which is super helpful. Cool, so on the driver's side, very, very simple. We have wired up his driving lights, and I do have a switch here for them when he wants to do that later. Uh, but simple thing, tow pro controllers here as well. And then if you can see this little light here, that is actually for the Direction Plus pre-line kit for the fuel filter and that'll light up and it'll actually give you an audible sound as well when it actually detects any form of contaminant in that filter system so that's going to alert you and then you've just got your clear view left right up down for your top glass in the mirrors as well which is all adjustable from the cab so super handy do you want to explore the great outdoors in a way that only a 4x4 can provide well hold on to your hat because the ultimate 4x4 Expo is coming to Brisbane. Get ready to see the greatest in off-road vehicles, accessories, and gear. Don't miss the most exciting event of the year. Come and see the BAW stand at the 4x4 Expo. Okay, so I did want to talk about the stereo that has been put into this vehicle. Now, I am a somewhat of a stereo connoisseur myself, I do like a good stereo, but this one is just absolutely next level. So the guys at Automotive Acoustics have actually done the full install on this stereo kit. And that was something that Tom really wanted to obviously go down that road to get this level of finish and sound quality. Now, it's not for the faint hearted. It is definitely not one of the cheapest things that you can do for a 70 series Land Cruiser, but let me tell you when you experience it and you can actually hear it and see the level of finish that these guys can achieve on a system like this. It's quite amazing. Uh, they are running the Kenwood 10.1, uh, which is something that we obviously do here as well. So as you guys might have known, if you haven't seen, we do run a lot of these. I love these head units. It is big and out there, but once you've had it, you kind of really get used to that size. It's got a great display. It's got, you know, camera integration in the unit as well. So you can have multiple cameras also. It's got four inputs for cameras. So you can have one on the front, one on the back, one up high and wherever you want the fourth one. So we have utilized things like that as well uh, ourselves. And it's got all your features like your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, wireless ones of that as well. And these ones actually have a new system that uh, we can also offer as well, which then brings vehicle data up onto the display as well. So you can do that. But as you can see, uh, the guys actually use a brand called Accuton uh, speakers, and it's a very, very top end 
uh, type of system and the sound quality, which I won't even try and show you over the internet because you just can't really get the feel for it, uh, is amazing. But if you have a look at the door cards, the, the, the level of finish on it is just absolutely unreal. And um, the rear system on the wall with the sub and the amps is just absolutely amazing. So um, hats off to you guys at Automotive Acoustics because you did a fantastic job and I know Tom is super happy with the outcome. So it's something that has definitely opened our eyes up to that next level. If somebody wanted to go down that road, uh, we can obviously help you guys achieve that. And yeah, wow, unbelievable, really, really cool system. But I'll let you guys have a look over a bit of the stereo in its entirety. So let's have a look at that. Well, that's it for Tom's build, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you haven't, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that way you guys don't miss out on any upcoming content from ourselves. But thanks very much. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time when we do a run through at the Boar Shed. See you guys. Sorry, I'm just gonna like sneeze here. Um, what else do we do here? Compressor, compressor. <laughs> Wowzers. Okay, let's do that again. All right, so welcome to